Hello and welcome to the Matthias iOS Development Show with me, Matthias, your iOS developer. And today we're going to look how to do simple error handling when calling an API. Now, uh, this code I'm using here, this one is actually from a previous video of mine, how to do a simple API call, where um, we have a view where we're going to call the API of Ice and Fire to get a character data, to get character data of Jon Snow. And what's happening is we have our content view with a character field which can be nil of type character. Character can hold three strings, name, born, culture. And once this thing appears, we're going to call our API, get a character back, assign it. And then once the character exists, show the data here on screen, as you can show in the preview, as you can see in the preview here. And if not, we're going to show a text named loading. And this is very simple. We got a URL hard coded here. And we just assume this works out and force parse this thing to a character and then return it. But uh, this will not fly in a production app. This was more like, okay, okay, this is the simplest way of doing this. Right now, we want to extend this so this can deal when an error comes back. Right? So anything except an error 200. And yeah, let's build this. First, I'm going to create an enum called network error of type error. And it's going to be the types of error we can get. I'm going to call this general error for now. Just going to use a single one. In the future, uh, of course, it makes sense to have various types here. We can say bad URL. Or you can say request failed. And then, depending on which error you get in the future, you can do different types of responses. For now, we just do a single one. And later, possibly extend this. Now, uh, what, this, what this function does, get character is, is had it has a completion where a character is returned. We don't want this anymore. We need a different completion now, where we say, not character anymore, but result. And this can be a character or a network error, the enum we just created. And um, do, 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 do. now, of course, our completion doesn't work anymore. So what this one wants, it doesn't want to return the character, it wants to return success character. This is what's, this is what's happening when this entire thing is successful. So how can, we, how, can we, um, how can we figure out then when to return an error, right? When, when it would be an error, the code would be failure, and would be completion. And then we say dot failure, and then the type of network error which in this case is the general error. Right, how can we trigger this, for example? Right now, I'm, I'm just going to let this here. I'm going to comment this out. Uh, so this assumes it's successful. And um, hey, we could trigger this, for example, when the response we're getting is not of a code 200. 200 is not of code 200. So let's just do that. So we're going to say, if let HTTP response equals response as, no. HTTP URL response or the name. So we need to parse this M1 actually to the HTTP URL response. And then we can say, I wrote this wrong, res on status. And then we can say if HTTP response dot status code is not 200. So 200 means it's successful. Anything but 200 can be generally seen as a failure. Then we're going to say completion failure general error. All right, looks pretty good. And else, I'm going to put everything else in the success block. We're going to put this one in here, where we basically parse our character and then return the success completion. And then, of course, we need to deal this. We need a way to actually un to actually read this. So when we go back in our call link, uh, in our call method of this, we already see this is uh, this is going wrong because this is not this is not returning a character anymore. This is returning a result which can be a character or an error. So now we need to also make sure this works. So I'm gonna comment out this to silence the compiler. Call this one result. And now we need to actually figure out how to deal with this. So I'm gonna put a switch in here. Switch result. And if it's a success, ah, you can really see it. it says we get a we get a character back when it's successful. 
uh, of let character, then we can say, okay, self character assign the character. And if it's, did I do it right? Here. And if it's of case failure of our error, then we can say um, print the error, for example. Oh, this is of course just a basic thing. Now let's make a nice error printout. Print what the error has to say. Ideally, of course, this is not what you do. I, you want we want something here like um, show a pop up telling the user that an error has happened. And possibly some way to say uh, a retry button would, would be very useful to say, hey, uh, there was an error. Would you like to fetch the data again? Which can very easily happen um, when, there's, when there's, for example, connection issues. So let's go through this thing again. Our entire view appears. We call the onAppear function. We say API get character and we get a result back. Now in this function, this function can return a result of either character when it's successful or of a network error. And we're gonna say, hey, if this is of type, if this has a status code, which is not 200, which is anything but successful, we're gonna return a failure of type general error. Otherwise, we will pass our character and return success. Then we need to go back to our function that called this and say, okay, we got a result back. Can be either of those things. Oh, this doesn't, this doesn't compile. Can be either of those things. So we got to say, okay, case success, assign the character, case error, do something that tells the user an error has happened and ideally give them a way to redo this which is pretty neat. And this is how you do a simple error, simple error handling. Now, of course, this isn't, this isn't final and this isn't the most, uh, this isn't the most complete implementation. Uh, for example, as I mentioned, you can um, extend the network error type. Bad URL is nice, request failed. So you can actually, part, you can actually match these to different um, HTTP status codes. If you get an error 404, for example, you can make, oh, this is an error 404. The URL clearly doesn't exist. So we can make something in that regard. Um, if if you have no authorization for some for something, for example, then you should maybe maybe show a different error where you can say, hey, uh, you aren't actually logged in. You can't do this. You can't do this call here. Do you want to go to a login page? And right now we're only parsing this based on the status code. So we're gonna say if it's 200, if it's not 200, fail, else succeed. You can see, for example, this line here where we force unwrap a character. We could also we could also basically say if if let character is this decode this decode if the character is this decoded, then succeed. If the if the decoding of this character fails, which is also a possibility, then also return an error. And yeah, that's it on how to implement a simple error, how to implement simple error handling in your SwiftUI app. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.